We had, uh, Steve, we had a couple of folks ask questions this week. Um, do you have uh, access to, to uh, some of those or maybe we'll just kick that around a little bit? Yeah, um, one of the questions we had um, from somebody new to the uh, to the site and he has um, from a heavy use of steroids um, when he was doing a lot of fitness and weight training and things of that nature in his younger days, um, he's mentioning that his autoimmune system, uh, pancreas and uh, other organs appear to be damaged from that. And he's been trying to... Um, you know, research stem cell and other regenerative therapies to uh, uh, to to try to reverse that or to, to improve it. I was really wow. in, interested in hearing about the fact that we're starting to do more work around body chemistry and understanding what's happening in the body <clears throat> to um, to really uh, uh, you know get a sense to put out a a treatment plan. And you know, and his his next step was really to look at at you know high quality stem cell treatments. I don't know, JT, if you've uh, if we've seen anyone um, with those type of problems uh, over the course of uh, the last couple of years. The question's really good because so many people just come and say, "How many stem cells do I need to fix X Y Z, mm -hmm. or to get or for something to function better?" And when we started this, we're in our kind of fourth year of this and working with the top doctors in the US, Mexico, Europe, um, re uh, researching, it, the research has progressed so much. But one of the things that people used to ask is, is a very basic question. Hey, if, I, if I'm gonna try stem cells to make me better, at, uh, to, to make my disorder less or go away, what can I do beforehand to and before, during, and after to make my, uh, uh, you know, my progress the best it can be. So it, things like detoxing and other things. And honestly, up until a year and a half ago, the answer was our doctors really didn't have much. And the, the top doctors had virtually no guidance around that. It's mm -hmm. like, well, we know what stem cells will do and can do for you. So we can look at your disorder, whatever is affecting you, and kind of tell you what stem cells are going to do. But how does that factor in with, with other processes or materials? And that has just come so far, especially in the last one and a half, two years. And one of the key pieces of that um, is body chemistry. Because at the, at the end of the day, if you've got damaged organs, um, you kind of go, okay, so uh, how damaged are they? Which ones are working a little bit, working not at all, working, uh, working fully? And a lot of the uh, tests that we take um, don't don't test for that at all. So you get a blood panel, and typically, um, a lot of most blood panels that uh, we see with clients with terrible disorders, the blood panel says, you know, more or less you're good. Your blood thickness is good. Your iron content is good. This, but that's kind of looking at um, uh, at almost the quality of your blood and not how hard your body is working to kind of keep itself running, keep itself alive. Um, there are uh, other tests that are available that most MDs don't use. Um, they, they just, they're not, you don't get trained on those type of panels very often uh, that can look at, uh, look at your um, blood chem body chemistry and, take, and more or less very quickly indicate which organs are working, to what degree they're working, which ones aren't working. And then you're kind of getting to the root cause of your disorder. So, right. you know, we know in that case, you know, what may have caused the disorder, which is certain uh, meds or certain supplements or whatever, but you kind of don't know, uh, don't know, well, which organs are the most damaged, which ones need the most work? Um, how do we concentrate, uh, how do we concentrate treatment and have a, a plan of treatment in, built for exactly that person to kind of get the right things running. Mm -hmm. And that's, again, where over the last 18, months that's come so far and now um, our leading doctors all want to see in in most of those cases those panels because not only can it make your stem cell or yet regenerative treatments more effective but in a lot of cases it can say well if we if we get your body chemistry right you may need a lot less stem cells because stem cells are expensive right uh, so why would i want to throw you know pull a number, $30,000 worth of stem cells at something, if my body chemistry is not working as efficiently as it could, and with a little bit of testing and some, some uh, 
adjustments that in a lot of cases are non-medicinal um, adjustments, all of a sudden I may get a lot more impact with a lot fewer stem cells. Yeah. And so those, those do work in tandem. And so I think the, the question about um, looking at body chemistry and kind of figuring out what's not performing right is the first step to go, okay, then what's the right kind of treatment? Um, unfortunately, the medical professions just totally dropped the ball. Uh, yes. In my opinion for us, they just, he's had the same doctor for 20 years and knowing his history, it, it's just always, I'm all, you know, we're always the initiator. We're always the pusher for, you know, constant blood work and, and just making sure that his numbers our numbers are good because he, you know he there's a host of of there's a host of um issues that and i hate to say the word issue i don't know what else to say that yeah. that we need to address for marco but um when you mentioned body chem or or, or the these te like is that something that is is over and above is that something that is done in relationship and partnership with the doctor that will do the stem cell how is that fitting into how many stem cells I need? Is that something that the doctors that you partner with, is that something they automatically do? So the best ones do, and you're, you're asking phenomenal questions. Um, the best ones do because they are um, learning about this and adopting it. And it's really giving them an answer going, I want, if I'm that MD, I want to um, have the best, fastest, fullest, uh, benefit for Marco or for whom. Right. Um, so what I need is I need the best inputs. Now, our, uh, for example, as we get ready to, um, for someone to get a consultation with, uh, you know, it's, uh, the uh, doctor who has that mindset and has that tool, uh, toolkit, mm -hmm. um, there's a typical healthcare questionnaire, which I'm sure you have filled out many times. It says, you know, family history and diet and supplements and, uh, mm -hmm. and all of those factors. Oh, yeah. Lots of Lots of blood um, panels. Our doctors generally with the blood panels will look and say, you know what, yeah, give me one that's within about the last six months. And in most cases, I don't need to see anything else because I'm not going to learn anything from it. Because exactly what you said, Jackie, they will, the blood panels will generally say, you know, you kind of got some greens and yellows, nothing in the real yeah. red. So your blood's Yeah. Fine. And depending mm -hmm. on the lab, not to interrupt you, depending on the lab yeah. you go to, it's really just the means of, of, where the average of every Patients client there. and patient that's gone to that quest lab or where they're falling within yep. the, the, the medium. So if I go to a lab, that's really not a, a, a well established lab, their, their numbers could be completely different than where Marco falls within the means, you know, it's, it's just, it's so subjective in my opinion. And it doesn't tell it, it tells us his, his testosterone numbers. It'll sure. tell us his vitamin D numbers, you yeah. know, all the basic stuff, but in the meantime, you know, it, he, he's, there's, there's so many other things that are going on within his body. Um, no questions. Let me yeah. throw out, um, uh, you know, when you talk about how many stem cells for something, which is most clinics in the world basically kind of give you the, here's how much stem cells cost. How much do you want to spend? Right. Which doesn't have to do with, okay, how well am I going to get from that? Or why is that the right number? Um, for right. me, the, the second derivative is they give you almost a, a kind of a, a sales approach that says, well, it sounds like, you, you know, you're going to need at least X amount. But mm -hmm. in most cases, that is not being dictated by a detailed understanding of anyone's health. Here's why that's right. important. Three years ago, uh, three and a half years ago, starting this, there was stem cells, generally speaking, and I mean, among best labs, best doctors, best clinics were one product and one means of administration. It was uh, mesenchymal stem cells and intravenous. As mm -hmm. we sit here today, there are over 150 different regenerative products that can be used in combination. And there mm -hmm. are at least six or seven different means of administration. Mm -hmm. So for someone to give you kind of the best um, uh, approach to treating anything, whether it's someone with long COVID, whether it's someone with MS, whatever that is, uh, they need to have a great amount of experience with with all of those tools, with mm -hmm. those means of administration. And then they need the right inputs to say, what is it this person, what, what is not working and what's my approach to 
um, to make that work, not just, well, stem cells will make you right. better. But we have always put all of our money into him and his health, and he's going to continue on that path. And so even though these these treatments are not going to be covered anytime soon, our ideal relationship or partnership will be once a year, Marco, this is just part of your regiment, part of your overall health mm -hmm. and well-being um, to continue your healing journey, because I know we can't go backwards and I know that we can't repair. Maybe we can, maybe we can repair some, but yeah. I want to stop what's happening and, and I don't want it to get any worse. Let, let me pick up on a few themes there. You're kind of right to the start of the, the industry is emerging. It is very young. And here's probably the clearest way I can evidence that is um, there are very few clinics that you can talk to if you ask them this one question. Do you have a protocol for things? Okay, what's your protocol? Meaning you're something where you've, uh, and I'll pick something that a lot of people uh, have and a lot of people have been treated with, with some successes, you know, things like long COVID. Okay, what's your protocol? If your protocol is, I give you the same number of cells as the person who came in before you for long COVID, not considering anything else, then you don't have a protocol. You're just selling stem cells, frankly. Um, the leading doctors are developing protocols, especially for the things they're running into and treating a mm -hmm. lot. So a lot of autoimmune stuff is getting to be protocol where it's not one size fits all, but it's that combination of things going, you know what? Stem cells are good for this, but when I treat that, I actually the most efficient way is I'm going to have the optimum amount of stem cells, but I'm going to pair that with, and you could, you know, pick from the other 149 things on their list mm -hmm. and say, I'm going to dial this in, but I'm going to dial it in based on that person and everything about them. So you're right. It's early stage. Um, the, what I hear you asking for, and this is also unique. The typical clinic is, is um, a kind of treatment base. I, it, um, it, almost like if I need to get my teeth cleaned, I can probably go into most dental offices and get my teeth cleaned. Right. We're not establishing a relationship, <laughs> you know, with, uh, we basically only work with doctors um, that are relationship based that want a recurring, uh, want to be part of that person's, uh, you know, ongoing health uh, journey. And, you know, some examples I could give I've got a, um, because we deal basically assisting people with chronic disorders. So we're not doing aesthetics and facials and all that stuff. Um, we deal with people, for example, with MS. And, you know, one particular client we've dealt with the last, um, uh, pushing into the third year now, is a relatively young guy. He's probably young 30s. Um, he has had MS for over 10 years. And the time he, he came to us, um, probably weighed 130 pounds, five foot ten, enough muscle on his bones to walk barely, but not enough muscle to get up out of a chair um, to to elevate himself. Well, a big part of it is well, how do you treat that? And then what expectations do you set? And mm -hmm. so that expectations um, for the for this person is um, how much improvement can you expect? over how much time uh, how many times will you have to go through this probably with this person uh, this will be a part of their journey over a good part of their life there's it's not like you know one year and you're done but it's also not come in and get a billion stem cells and then you're that's the optimum treatment it is hey we're going to have this treatment we're going to uh, measure your responses over kind of 180 days then we're going to re-optimize and come up with the you know next phase of your treatment plan and have that enduring. Um, we're we we've established that relationship between the person and their doctor, and it, um, a lot of times they'll just uh, get a hold of us to go, hey, I'm ready to uh, re-engage with the doctor. Can you you know can you set that up for me? Right. Other than that, they've got a relationship where it's oh so and so's wanting to speak to you, doctor doctor Adolfo. Um, and, and he'll be like, okay, good. Well, find out their time. Here's my availability. Uh, let's get that set up. I want to jump to something that's also emerging. 
Um, and nobody, and this is a really potentially very good news um, for people, I would say families that are dealing with uh, kind of longer term issues. If you uh, talk to any clinic that does stem cell therapy and you say, okay, can I, is it possible that insurance will cover this expense? The answer is across the board, no. Is there mm -hmm. always true? And it may not even be generally true. And here's the reason. Um, and we have not been talking about this a lot because uh, we've been ourselves and with uh, clients kind of beta testing it. Here's yeah, the difference. If you go to a specific a, a clinic, pick any clinic in the world, mm -hmm. you get a treatment and the treatment says, I'm going to give, I'm going to give Jeff 200 million cells is going to cost $25,000 or something. And it's kind of one line on an invoice. Send that to your insurance and they go, uh, in, stem cells are not FDA approved. Therefore, mm -hmm. zero. Okay. If you look at the, if you break it down though, what are all of the cost items that go into a treatment plan? Actually, the stem cells are not, are often not the majority of that. They, because you may have stem cells and exosomes. You've got uh, mm -hmm. doctors, uh, doctor consultations. You've got medical equipment. You've got nurse support. You got, and we have been working uh, kind of, again, on a test basis mm -hmm. with clients to say, if we can develop all of that, um, uh, that technology to put, to break that down for people and to assign all the correct medical codes and everything else right. for it. Right. And what we're seeing is success where it doesn't mean a hundred percent of a treatment is uh, insurable, but are, are, you know, eligible for insurance admission. But in some cases we're but seeing 75% or more. Mm -hmm. That's great. So it's, we're, we're, um, my wife, who's, uh, she's, she's a doctor and she works on the, uh, on the research side, almost exclusively her, you know, her background, you can read it on a thing. She was a nurse for 30 years, went back uh, last few years, became a naturopath. She's been working with our lead doctors on the body chemistry, and it's what she focused her doctorate on. But this was something that she is leading. She and I are working together on um, about how to make this much more insurable by doing it the correct way. There's nothing, you know, it's all completely transparent. But nobody else has broken this out. And it's just something yeah. that says, if you've got um, likelihood of, you know, this client that Steve was talking about that was in over the last week, she's got a long road to go. They're, they're going to invest more in her health. But for the first time, she's now seeing positive response versus what she was getting it from Mayo Clinic and all these prestigious places was uh, were nothing or negative. Well, they... Right. They're excited about the path. They know they have more to go. And now it's all of a sudden that may be a lot more affordable than we were thinking if insurance can pick up part of it. Um, okay. I was doing a, I was doing bulking, um, which is like adding on like calorie, going into a calorie surplus for, uh, for, a butt, for weightlifting, for fitness. Right. Um, I got a little carried away and I had um, a too, a too much to eat. And I, and it got to the point where the, the gallbladder just, like gave up on uh, itself, but not too completely. Uh, I just only have like the one stone, but in, uh, since then, my, uh, I think something in my biliary tract started irritating my pancreas and it started, um, and I've just been going on like down the rabbit hole of supplements, trying to like uh, ascertain what I can do to, um, to resolve this. And, um, and it just got to the point where like my pancreas is just really inflamed and, um, just, uh, and, uh, everything with digestive issues is just, um, like a, a cascade, uh, down from that. So I guess, um, what I uh, came to, um, to the small forum for was to, um, ask about, um, ad adjunct therapies or, uh, things that we could do, uh, in conjunction with it. I was talking to Steve, um, earlier about my prior research. Um, with um, uh, with stem cell with stem cell research and um, what what attracted me to it, um, the particular um, aspect of it that I saw that was really useful was um, how we can uh, produce our own stem cells within our body through either nutrition, 
uh, daily activities and stuff like that. So I, I tried to keep up with uh, my exercise, but I also was looking into foods, um, the com compounds within foods, the vitamins, minerals, flavonoids, isoflavones that contribute to uh, stem cell uh, production and what things trigger in the body that causes that and trying to like extrapolate um, a, like a, a compound solution to this. So I was just wondering uh, what things have you found that, um, that contribute to it? And is it something that uh, you considered, um, just as a starting question, uh, uh, have you considered um, adding it to um, your um, therapies when people ask for some stem cells? You know, uh, Greg, this is, um, it kind of goes hand in hand with the conversation we've been having, which is you've got um, organ damage and organ disorder. Uh, and, you know, that's, manifesting in GI issues, inflammation, et cetera. So your body is, you know, it's, it's almost like a car that has maybe all the right fluids in it, but uh, you got rust in the motor and it's causing friction and causing overheating. And, and so you kind of get into um, how, how do I, A, treat the, inflama uh, treat the inflammation really at the source, what's triggering inflammation? Um, and then how do I repair, uh, repair any damaged tissues or organs? So, and then when you, in your case, looping it back to GI issues out of the, I don't know, over 600 uh, clients that we've worked with, probably, you know, 90% have had significant GI issues. It doesn't matter if you had long COVID, you got MS, you got this um, lupus, there, you know, there are studies out showing that a ton of that comes back to your GI system got, um, triggered by something or injured by something and it's not working well and that puts and uh, jackie was saying it earlier that puts then more load on your other systems at some point your other systems go you know it, uh, i can't put up with that it's the same as if you know if every night i i uh, drink a quart of you know alcohol at some point you know liver <laughs> things start going i can't handle the amount of stress you're putting on me if you know, right. in that case, you cure it by, well, let's not put that much alcohol down there. And, and the liver does tend to regenerate. So um, that works out. But um, it also, if you go, well, how, what adjustments would I make? This gets into, if you do the um, <laughs> kind of body chemistry up front, don't start with the presumption that we start with stem cells and then we look at what else you can complement that. You start with... Um, what is off in your body chemistry? And again, the, the same conversation earlier, it's probably not going to show up a lot in blood tests. It will show up, these body chemistry tests are primarily urine and saliva. So you'd start with that kind of analysis, which is not expensive compared to stem cells. It's very, very inexpensive. And it would tell you, okay, and in the end, what's the role of stem cells in that process? Not most people say, um, I just heard that someone with this gets stem cells. So Tell me what the stem cells are going to do for me. But that's just, yeah, uh, we're not getting to the, we're, that's not a root cause adjustment either. That's not figuring out um, which adjustments need to be made. Fortunately, the technology that's evolved over the last, you know, 18 months to two years, um, now we can answer that question. My, uh, I guess my follow-up question would be, um, would there be, well, for people that, um, well, go ahead. Considering that um, that I'm happy to hear that um, people with um, GI symptoms, they yeah. it's like a tip of the hat, hat um, become better uh, after getting the stem cells. Um, so if I if I were to get like something uh, other than that, if it's uh, something that could be solved simply, simply, I guess what would be like the um, uh, I guess what would be like the updated um, uh, updated flav uh, flavonoid uh, updated things that you see that um that uh, you could recommend someone do outside of um outside of your clinic like post uh, post uh, clinical care uh, pre clinical care that um is that um part of um your package as well? It, absolutely, and, and that is um, we'll never offer you a general answer like everybody should do more of these or less of those because that it, it, the minute you say that you know, be skeptical about any of that kind of advice. You, just like we were talking about with Jackie, you need someone to assess that is 
uh, that has the right tools and right um, experience to assess um, what it is you need. And a lot of times our clients will get um, uh, prescriptions from the, from the doctor that say, do more of this for three months or more before you come here. And then let's see whether you need to come here. You know, let's see how much this will do. Um, and it will, you know, so there, there's a huge toolkit that is available to the doctors and we get the kind of doctors who will look and say, yeah, here's what I think. And then they'll explain to you why. Here's why you should do A, then B, then C, then D. But they're not just saying generally, like everybody should do that. It is, hey, I'm looking at your chemistry. I'm looking at these tests. I'm looking at your symptoms, your age, your uh, your diet, your supplements, all that stuff. And telling you, do more of this, less of that. Um, our doctors, for example, always look at supplements and medicines that people are on because um, that needs to be well understood before anyone gets any kind of stem cell or other treatment. Then you get, before you decide with, you know, through our doctors or anyone else, before you decide to do stem cell, um, then you know, well, I've talked to a doctor who's evaluated me very thoroughly and has gone through what their recommended plan of treatment is, what each piece of it is, what expectations I should have, right. what other adjustments I've, I, uh, I should make um, as I'm doing this. And you gained all of that knowledge without actually committing to do stem cell, you know, an expensive treatment. And to me, that's the right way to do it. I want understanding. I want to have confidence in my doctor to know they, they really understand this and are on top of it. Um, and, you know, then I can make a great decision. Um, we actually, as I was talking with Jackie, where I say the best educated people are the clients we want. And people, we have many people who've been jumping on and off these uh, calls um, for a year or more before they decide that they want to move forward with uh, doing something with this. That's awesome. The more knowledge we can share and so forth, uh, the better and no, no expectations. So jump on here anytime you like. If you get other questions that arise, um, you know, we're, we're, we'll be here. Today was a, a, a excellent session, fabulous dialogue and conversation and we do it again in two weeks as well. So welcome everybody Thank back. You. And nice course, meeting you can, everyone. Yeah, likewise. Hey, we'll, we'll look forward to talking to all of you again in the future. Join Thank as you. often as you like, as often as possible. We love these conversations.